how do you reduce risk when you're investing? You be young, be young, and you, answer. you you give yourself more time to make the money back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that's so that's a really good question. People are always, Austin, why don't you sell? Austin, did you take profits? Austin, why, uh, what, uh, what, you know, this, I'm 24 years old. I'm fully invested. Like, I don't have like cash sitting somewhere. It's like paycheck comes in. I know what I can budget for on a month to month basis. I put that in the market. Like, that's just what it is, right? I, I obviously have sinking funds for different types of things. And, you know, I have my emergency fund, but like, I'm fully invested because I know being fully invested over the period of 40 years is much smarter than us being 78% invested. Like, it would be if I had a robo advisor and he did the bonds or, you know, whatever, right? But, you know, how to de risk yourself? I mean, yeah, time, have more time to make the money back. But, you know, as a more, I guess, practical approach. I think de-risking yourself stems from the fear of not having money when you need it. And as Dave Ramsey says, three to six months of expenses, I would argue 12 because holy shit, you're going to feel comfy. Like I've moved from my three to six months up to 12 and holy shit, I feel comfy. Like, yeah. you know, when, for example, I have a, a stock named Splunk, SPLK is the ticker. It went down 25% and I lost a couple grand. It's okay. I still have a roof over my head. I've got money in the bank in case, you know, my dad dies tomorrow after his funeral. Like something can happen. Something terrible can happen. And I need to spend tens of thousands of dollars, but I'm not worried about it because I have that sitting somewhere else. And so I'm not worried about de-risking fear away from investing. I can focus on investing being what investing needs to do, which is to invest in valuable, strong, quality companies for long periods of time. It's not about, let me see if I can make $2,000 in a week. It's not about, I need to pay my rent. So let me buy a call option. It's not about this, that, or the other. It's about let's invest in businesses. We're buying businesses for periods of time until we realize that buying that business is no longer wise. Would you say that uh, your way of looking at it is that the way to reduce risk is to make you more capable of taking risk? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I like that a lot. I mean, you know, to, to talk more towards that, every, I mean, obviously the stock market has inherent risk. Yes. And so the more comfortable you are with that inherent risk, you know, the more, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It applies to a, a psychology concept, which is when you have somebody that has a, a, a fear of something, you don't make them less fearful. You make them more brave. That is the solution for somebody that has a fear is, is mm -hmm. it's, it's very difficult to reduce the fear, but it's, it's much more doable to, to increase the bravery. And and that, and that bravery comes from understanding, you know, if we invest this much, we'll have this much at the end, right? It's that yeah. let's get let, let's get the, the worst case scenario being the million at, the, at 65. Are you interested in crypto at all? Yes. Oh, my anything gosh. Anything you've explored? So I, I've definitely dabbled in the dark arts of the cryptocurrency, right? Um, Glad to hear so it. So you want to hear a crazy story? Please. Well, two crazy stories. The first one's everyone's, oh, I could have bought Bitcoin at a lower price. Mine yeah. is, oh, I bought four Bitcoin for $25 a piece and I sold them for fake IDs when I was a senior in high school. So I would be able to buy alcohol when I got to college. So huge profits. Yeah. Huge profits, baby. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so the other crazy story is back in would have been maybe September of 2017, right? Things were starting to heat up. Maybe it was a little bit, maybe it was the summertime. Things were heating up and in, in when Bitcoin crypto land, I sold my car for cash to buy oh. Ethereum. And I bought oh. Ethereum and that was the first $30,000 I ever made in my entire life. That was the fastest money I ever freaking made. And I got hooked after that. I obviously, I didn't sell the top. I didn't sell the bottom, but I, I made a lot of money from it. And from that, I, I bought a beater car that I just put the money aside and invested stuff. Right. But that is my, that, yeah. You know, people, oh, I took a second mortgage out of my house. Yo, I, I sold my car. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty and, amazing. And here, I'll tell you why. You know, 4chan. Because you, um, hear, you hear about the horror stories of the people oh, that gosh, mortgaged yes. their house and then bought at the wrong time. Absolutely right. You, Absolutely bought, right. you bought at the right time with one of those balls yeah. to the wall attempts. Yes. Yes, I did. And and I'm not here to say like, I, you know, I made, you know, tons and tons and tons of money. I, it was yeah. close to like 200 and some percent return, which, you know, it's incredible. That's great. You but made compared significant to the... for you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Which yeah. is what matters. Absolutely right. Absolutely yeah. right. The reason I did that is I'm sure you know what 4chan is. And I'm sure you know Biz, the the forum on 4chan. If not, it's for full of anybody that's listening, summarize it. 
So 4 is like just a website with a bunch of different like boards. And Biz is a board, which is where like sort of like a forum where people can talk about anything. It's normally full of these, I hate to say it in like a bad way, but like these like turbo autistic people that are so smart, they can identify things like that. that and they identified yeah. Ethereum. And I was like, and I, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not on that level. I can't, you know, I can't do that, uh -huh. but they did. And I drank the Kool-Aid and I, that was incredible. And actually, if people are listening now that are also in cryptocurrency land, uh, you, you might know what Chainlink is. L-I-N-K is the, the little ticker for that. They're around maybe 12 to $14 um, right now. Saw it on Biz again back oh. in 2019, uh, summer 2019. I think it was around 40 to 60 cents. I took a lot of the money from mm -hmm. the Ethereum and working in retail. It was about six grand that I, I decided to invest into Chainlink and I got about 12,000 of them. Uh, maybe it was around eight grand, but I had about 12,000 of them, right? And I haven't sold a single one. And wow. that's because I drank the Kool-Aid. I figured it out, right? These people get it. And I was lucky enough to jump on board with them because I saw what they did the first time. I'm so glad you brought this up because th this is something that uh, I don't hear people talking a lot about. And I, I think it's there's a lot of value to it is investing based on people. Yes. Look up the people. Um, that's a YouTube channel. Also, I'll let you know, I have a hard stop at uh, 830 central time. So like, you know, a minute okay. and a half here. Um, but dumb money is a YouTube channel. I, I want everyone to look at, they look at Google trends and by looking at Google trends, that's how they figure out what, what stocks to invest. They saw that Pel that Google, that the Peloton login, Google trend had gone up like 4,000% during COVID and wall street was asleep to it. They like Peloton stock was trading sideways still. And they're like, yo, everyone's logging into Peloton on their, you know, that must mean they bought Peloton. They have Peloton. Peloton's going to go great. Yeah. Went from six, you know, 30, 40 bucks now to I think 110 or something. But yeah, I agree. People investing where people think. Yeah. And, and, and the, the way I think about it is everyone has their own strength, right? So some people's strengths are not in numbers. Some people's strengths are in other things. Some people are really smart at how they read people. Yes. So, you know, if if you're really smart at how you read people, should you be investing based on math? I don't know that that's actually the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.